wanted to show you what you do when you are on Cura. So I just finished doing this. This is the G code for the next print that I'm going to be doing. It's a squatting girl. And you can see the process of this. It's the same thing. I scanned it and now I'm going to uh, prepare it. I've already made the G code. If you click here, preview, it gives you a preview of how the supports are gonna be if you have such thing. It takes a while, my computer's pretty slow. This area right here, this is the support because her head extends way past the, the body. You need some sort of support for the 3D printer to build, so this is all waste. It's kind of like what I did with the Batman sculpture. This is pretty much all waste. If I rotate it, just see how slow it is. You can see all of this is just the support, mostly in the front to support the head. And I have already converted this and put it on an SD card. What you see down here it says it's gonna take two days, three hours, 52 minutes, and it's gonna use 283 grams of, of uh, plastic or 94.77 meters of plastic. You have a SD card slot and you have a USB 2.0 slot here. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna put my SD card where I saved that 3D file, put it in there. And some other computers have wireless. You could get, I believe, a motherboard that supports wireless. I don't have that. So let's go ahead and start the printer on the side. There's a power supply button and it's booting up. On this screen, it might look like it's a touch screen, but it's not. And it's okay. It's a lot better than the last one, which was a weird LCD one. So they have done it, done a much better thing. We are gonna go here to print. I've already balanced this out. This does have self-balancing, so you can level it if you haven't done that. That's probably the first thing you need to do is balance everything out. And now we're gonna to go to print, push on the round dial, and then you're gonna to navigate to your print. So you can see some various things in there. One thing that I found is I had an SD card before and I was going through all my 3D prints and it was like stopping in one folder and it wouldn't budge. Uh, it's as if like there was like some intense per, uh, file in there what turned out to be it was a corrupt SD card so once in a while you're probably going to have to switch up the SD cards. What you have on the screen at the bottom is important. This first number 21 is the temperature of the nozzle. The bottom one 34 percent is the bed it's going to heat up. Up here you have the progression so once this bar reaches there that's 100 percent right now it's zero percent. It's starting to put the temperature up and that's pretty much it once this thing starts it'll take just a little bit of time to heat up your bed and everything it really depends on what type of bed you also have I have a glass one some people use magnetic ones so you're kind of learning how hot things should be but this is going to take over two days to print so it's going to take a while once the 3D printer starts, it's gonna put like a little bead of plastic there. It's, I guess, a way of testing out how it adheres. One of the issues I've had before is the plastic not sticking well onto my, my bed. You can see it kind of just lifts up sometimes. A lot of times that has to do with the temperature and the leveling of your bed. So make sure if it's lifting off, try to balance your, your uh, bed a little bit better. And here we go, this is the first base. What you have here on the sides there, that's where it prints the support. So we're using tree supports and that's what it is. It kind of messed up a little bit here in the front but that's because it didn't adhere properly to the plate so sometimes that happens you just have to correct it